Hi everybody, This welcome back to the channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is going to be your romance reading for September. I hope you are well and safe, and I, a lot of holidays are over now, and the kids are back to school, so I suggest grab a cuppa and listen to your video. I have made the romance videos beforehand, um, but I've had some issues with the computer, so the computer will be taken away uh, or going to the menders uh, for a couple of days. So the romance readings will be done one by one because I had already done a lot, and the generals will be uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, and then Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and then. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and I will be putting in the timestamps, so please bear with me. Sorry for the inconvenience, but you know, um, I, I can't do anything about it. Take care, and uh, please share and like with everybody, of course, and sorry I won't be able to go live this week, and also, I hope you enjoy the videos, and if you're new, then welcome, please sub and uh, subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be informed remember to hit it on all otherwise you will block it out and also look at your settings in your mobile apparate apparatus okay take care enjoy the video let's go to the video ciao ciao hi Taurus this is your read romance reading for September and welcome back your first card is Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. This doesn't have to be negative, but it can also be positive. Somebody, um, the feeling that I get with this card for you, Taurus, is that there are red flags, there's warnings, there are signs that something is going to happen. So be aware, don't put your foot in it. That is what I'm getting to hear. Don't ask for the known path. That's literally what I'm hearing. There might be something in the sphere because I'm feeling a lot of excitement that somebody might be getting engaged. Somebody might get a proposal. So don't ask what you already know. Okay? Don't blow the fun. That's the red flags. Don't ask um, if you know or suspect that you're going to get proposed to or that you might get an engagement ring Okay, that's the positive side of it. The negative side is watch out for the red flags One of you might be getting pretty bored and sending out messages So like why aren't you at home at time? Why am I alone? So watch out for the red flags Somebody is irritable. That's the negative side because there are two sides to each story, my darlings. Okay, that's in the first week, Taurus. And the clarification card is the two of fire. I'm talking about an engagement. I'm talking about a proposal. Well, the two of wands, the two of fire, means forming partnerships. There you go, you're making plans making plans, forming partnerships. So, like I said, exciting! Watch out for the red flags! Okay, the second week. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. So, if you're not hooked up, you might be meeting somebody that you had not even considered or uh, as a a potential partner or lover um, if you are hooked up there might be somebody else um, stirring your emotions that you might not even have considered fancying so be careful that is the red flags for the people that are hooked up okay you might be a little bit bored and you might get an offer from somebody to partner up so what are you going to do are you going to sacrifice the relationship that you are in now or are you um, s stepping over going into a new relationship 
be careful if you are hooked up. Ooh, and we've got the Ace of Water. That means indeed new love or new passion in the romance reading. In the general reading, it could be not only passion or love, but it could also be nurturing, becoming a mother or uh, finding out you're pregnant or getting a new job, a job in the health center care, as that is what the water stands for. So you could be meeting a Pisces, a Cancer or a Scorpio Taurus and you hadn't even considered that. Ooh, okay. That is fascinating. They are nurturing, loving and they have passion. So that is their fire in them, the passion, okay. Because fire signs are also passion, creativeness and logic but this person could have water and fire or be wa w fire and water that you could be meeting up and you didn't see it coming so be careful of the red flags if you are um, hooked up with somebody but if you're not then keep an eye open for a fire sign or a water sign express your love Yes, express your love, let your inner child come out. That is also passion. Um, don't be too serious, but always keep the communication going. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. If that is your choice, if you're not hooked up, that's fine. But if you are hooked up, then be careful. Everything has consequences. You have to take your responsibility if you take a decision you have consequences okay also let's put it in this scenario if you are hooked up and somebody unexpected is going to come in and that's the red flags and you're heeding uh, you're taking heat or warning of the red flags you don't want to have uh, a new uh, in love interest and you want to stay with the present partner because they are your soulmate or that's how you feel about it because you love them dearly and then express your love tell your partner somebody is interested in me but I don't want to tell you the name of the person but I had a past today and I just realized today that I love you even more because I said no thank you bye bye okay and let your partner know that somebody else fancies you or that you're the beacon to attract love um, that will make them feel really honored if they do love you okay they will be tickled pink because you chose them above everybody else that is such a beautiful thought and that is what real love is being open with each other, respecting each other, loving each other, knowing each other's boundaries and not crossing your boundaries for an other love whilst you're still in a relationship. In the third week we've got the clarification card, the Empress. So you have invested in this relationship, whether it's a new one or whether it is your present one you are expressing your love in the right way something is blossoming and you're plucking the fruit of your harvest because you've invested it when you got together and hooked up or you might find out that you are pregnant and you're expressing your love and sharing your love because there will be a baby on the way now if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions okay the uh, the Empress uh, she does represent Libra so um, that if you are not hooked up there could be a Libra coming in okay Wow I think this is a lovely reading it's a really love love reading if you know what I mean the gooey stuff release your ex the time has come to clear your energy 
like I said, if you would like a new love, then go for it. But it might be somebody that you never anticipated. You could already know them, all right? It could be a Libra, okay? Or it could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, as we've got the Ace of Water here. Okay. Boom. So let your ex go. If you are separated and you want a new love, then let it go. Even if you're hooked up and you've been married or you've had a boyfriend or a girlfriend before, don't compare your present partner or love with somebody from the past get those new ideas going okay birth a new phase birth a new beginning you've got the passion and love and security with this water sign or air sign libra okay you it the empress is a lot like the queen of pentacles they sow seeds and they nurture the seeds and they let it grow. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Look, look, look. We've got the Emperor. So he's looking towards the Empress couple. We've got the couple. There is definitely a lot of you coupling up with somebody. Look at this. The rainbows are coming together. Right. This is the Emperor. And the Emperor is a Taurus. You might even be um, hooking up with a Taurus if you're not a uh, coupled up Taurus. You might already be coupled up with a Taurus. Wow. But the Emperor is an advisor. This could be a father figure. This could be a mature man that you have respect for. Or this could be a professional could be a doctor if we are having a baby ooh, you'll have to go to the gynecologist or the GP first and get this rolling so that you can nurture your health and your relationship because things are going to change big time you're moving up from a three to a four stability whoa nice one okay or it could be an uh, the registry office. It could be the um, Hierophant. The Hierophant is a lot the same as the Emperor. Getting married. Legalities. Putting down the roots. You. Boom. Let the past go. Awesome. Yes. And then we have a TLC for the soul. And we've got helpers. There are always people around you, a mum or a dad, right? The Empress is Mother Earth, Mother, word Mother, and we've got our Father, even if they're not in this realm, they are still looking after you. Okay. Listen to the call of Spirit. There you are, I'm talking to you. <laughs> they are with you, leading you to a new way. Oh gosh, things are moving in my head because I lost my father when I was 21 and I didn't get married until later. But he was still there. So don't be upset. Don't be upset if you haven't got a father or a mother or both and you're getting married. They are watching over you. They've brought you together for a reason. Greater freedom is energizing you from the inside you may have been feeling anxious wondering if you'll be able to figure out the next step here you are advising you get advice the next step you need to take when an, op an opening arises recognize this as a moment of initiation before you encounter forward momentum again new friends and helpers will find their way to you through the law of love and will equip you within with the tools and resources you'll need courage be courageous you're a courageous soul as you remain open and receptive to their knowledge and wisdom honoring 
your own truth and experience. Your pathway will be uncovered. You will emerge wiser and surer of what you are and what you are willing to stand for. Are you ready to be a mother? Boom! Are you ready to get coupled up? Awesome! Beautiful! I love that card! You're part of one big happy family, whether it's friends or family. Boom! Happy times are ahead for you, definitely. The situation will improve. Yes, they will. Your wish is coming true as you have the star. 16, 7, good luck. You're going from 7 to 8. Again, you're climbing up to the next phase. 8 is the house of money and power. You are in your power. You've got the 8 of hearts here. All right, the Eight of Cups. You wanted adventure, you wanted a new beginning, because you were bored with the old routine. The ex is gone, all right? But you've got a new one coming in. Wow. Well, Taurus, I've enjoyed that reading, but now the overall energy is, let's have a look, the Seven of Water. And that means that you're daydreaming. You might be reminiscing and thinking about what you would like to come to fruition. So be ready for the new steps um, because they are going to come true. Your dreams or your goals are coming true because you've made that priority list and you've been working towards it. Okay. You've paid attention to the red flags. You've done something about it. You've opened your mind uh, to more possibilities and you expressed your love to the one you wanted or that you have feelings for. And you have released your ex. You've stopped dreaming or wondering or thinking about the past, what you wanted and what you've lost. Now you're ready to start building this anew with a new partner. And if you are hooked up, you have done the same. You have changed. You've put made a prior priority list and you have made this happen. You've changed something either in the relationship or within yourself and you've got the expected reactions from your partner. It's an absolutely beautiful reading. So be ready for the first step of your path or this journey you have started. Take care my sweeties and I hope you will like and subscribe and hit the bell on all and please leave reactions behind and remember have a look at the video for Virgo Energy and have a look at your general and take from this reading and the general reading what resonates with you and have a look at your moon sign and rising sign. Take care, stay safe and stay well. Ciao ciao. See you in the life and if not in the next video.